Hello everybody. So I wanted to make a quick video um, about multi-viewer for F1. People have been asking like in comments and direct messages and stuff about how to build the layout that I use. And it seems like there might be some confusion. Um, some folks are like really fixated on editing the JSON data, which doesn't seem like it's a thing. Uh, as an end user, you just use the UI elements on the video uh, displays to set their size and position. But anyway, let's just look at it from scratch. Um, you go to f1mv.com to download the uh, multi-viewer for F1 application. Uh, you download it for your platform, um, install it. If you do have problems or run into things, I highly recommend joining the Discord server. Um, if you click the link there on the website, it will give you an invitation. Um, the developer is awesome. He's super active and involved. Um, if you do have questions or problems here in the Discord, there's help and support. Um, if you go to the help channel, post your question, I'm reasonably certain you'll get resolution. So anyway, once you have the application installed, let me switch here so we see the entire desktop, um, you run MultiViewer for F1. Uh, this is just the splash screen for the application. And as far as like the layouts and stuff, it doesn't matter whether you're watching a live broadcast or um, one of the, you know, pre-recorded. So in this case, uh, we'll take a look at the Mexico City Grand Prix. That was the most recent event. Um, and if you open up, it shows you all the broadcasts from that event. So if we want to look at the Grand Prix, these are all the streams that are available um, from that broadcast. So you choose the ones you want and you can either just click them here and then open them all or just individually click on them. So if we want the international view, you click on it, the video window appears. Um, and what I do is right click on the video and you get a drop down context menu so you can set the size and position just directly in the user interface. So if we set the size to be two thirds and we set the position to be top left, that puts it up there in the corner. And then typically I have three driver views on the right hand side as a column. So basically you just choose the drivers you want. Um, let's just do, I don't know, Max, Lando, and Charles. So once the video windows appear, you do the same thing. You right click on it to set the size. And in this case, I want them to be one third. And then you set the position. So this is gonna be the bottom right. And then we do the same thing for Lando's view. Set the size to one third. Set the position to be center right. And then for maxes, set the size to one third and position it to top right. Okay, so now I've got all three driver views. We've got the international view. Um, to get the telemetry, as far as like the overlays with the speedometers and sector times and stuff like that, um, you go back to the multi viewer for F1 window, and up here at the top is the live timing. Um, so you click on that, it opens this dialog box, which sometimes takes a moment to sync up. But once it does, you get all the um, telemetry standings. I typically move this window over to the side and size it down. You don't get the right click um, size and position options for this window, um, but you can easily drag it around and make it the size you want. Um, and the other thing uh, people were specifically asking for was the transparent map. So if you click on this little gear down here in the telemetry, open track map is one of the options. Um, so that opens up the track map. You size that so it's a little bit Down. I typically position it over here between uh, the telemetry and the driver views.
You just click on the video windows to bring them into the focus. Minimize the F1 multi viewer window in the background, and there you go. Um, this up so we see the standings the way you want. Hide the menu. So that's how I build um, the layout that I use when I'm watching the races. Um, once you've made a layout, um, it's really easy to save it. And maybe this is where the JSON confusion is coming in. If you go back to the multi-viewer for F1 application, um, you can save the layout that you currently have. So you click Save Layout, give it a name. Doesn't really matter what you call it. And then if you come back, if you right click on any of the video windows, there is an option to close all players. So I can just close everything. Go back here to open a save layout, open test, open it. And it reloads all of the uh, selections that we previously had. And it's just that easy. So yeah, like I said, if you do have questions or you run into trouble, I highly recommend um, the Discord server. Um, post here in the um, help channel if you're running into trouble, but um, yeah, it's just like that. So thanks for watching. Pit girl, end stream. Ending stream. Please remain calm.